continuing with our Python GTK tutorials, uh, we're going to start a whole new script today uh, because it's kind of a long one, and then we're going to incorporate it into uh, the script we've been working on. So let's get started. I'm going to call this um, file chooser dot py, and that's exactly what we're going to create. We're going to create a dialog window that you can choose files from. Uh, so let's start off. We're going to go user bin environment Python so that our interpreter knows that uh, we need to use the Python uh, interpreter. Our system knows that we need to use the Python interpreter. Okay, and um, here we're going to import py gtk and gtk. Next part we're going to do is, uh, from my understanding, we need to make sure that we have at least version uh, 2.3.90 of uh, PYGTK for this to work. So we're going to say if gtk.pygtk underscore version, so it's checking the version that you have installed, is less than 2,3,90 and now we're going to say we want to print a message we're going to say print please upgrade your oops, your PYGTK And then we're going to say raise system exit. And that should exit the program if they don't have, they'll print that message and exit the program if they don't have the most, the, the version that they need. Okay, so now we're going to start working on our dialog box. We're going to create an object. We're going to call it dialog gtk.file chooser dialog so that's the object we're creating an object and we're saying that it's this type of object now let's set some parameters for it we're going to say open dot 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 and that is going to be the title of our window you'll see when it's displayed we're going to say comma none for there I'm not really sure what that variable is and then we're going to say gtk.file chooser action open. And what this is saying, this is basically telling uh, our program that that's the type of file chooser dialog we want is one that's going to open. And we're actually going to put that here, make it a little more readable. Put a comma there. Now you could write this all out on one line, but uh, just to make it easier to read, we're going to do it this way. And we're going to say gtk dot stock cancel. And so this is saying a cancel button with a stock, basically a very common stock uh, cancel button with the images for a stock button, the icon and whatnot. We're going to say gtk dot respond or sorry, response, cancel. And we're going to say GTK dot stock open. So we're adding another button. Make sure this is a dot here. We're adding another button and it's the open button. It's going to have the stock look uh, image for that button. And we're going to say that it's a GTK dot response. And basically this part is when you press the button, the signal that's going to send back to our application and it's going to send back the response. Okay. Close our uh, parentheses there. Okay. So we now have a dialog box created our object. It is a dialog. 
uh, file chooser. We got its title. We've told what type of file dialog it is. We've created a cancel button and an open button, and we have the responses that each of those buttons are going to send back. So that object is created. So um, now we're going to type dialog dot set default response is equal to gtk dot response okay so basically that's the response it's going to give is the okay response if something out of the ordinary happens if you don't click okay or open uh, it's going to send back the response okay now we're going to set some filters and this will filter out uh, you know what pro what uh, type of files it shows and for this case we're just going to say filter equals GTK so we're creating a new object it's a GTK file filter and we're going to say file I'm sorry I'm typing things all wrong filter filter and we're going to set name and we're going to say in quotations all files and we're going to add a pattern now for the file type so filter dot add underscore pattern and we're going to add the uh, asterisk there inside quotations which means all files and we're going to take our dialog object and we're going to add that filter so add filter and we're going to put filter there that is our object so we got our dialog object and we're adding a filter and that filter is this object we created up here with these parameters still with me okay so at this point we're all ready to run our dialog box so we're going to create a variable and that variable is going to be the output that is given when our file when our dialog box is run and we also want to run our dialog box so we're going to say response equals dialog dot run so this will run our dialog box display it on the screen and whatever response it gives whether it's response ok or response cancel this response variable will be equal to that so we're going to say if response so if that variable equals gtk dot response underscore ok so if you click ok or if the default happens we're going to say print a message dialog dot get file name and we're going to say selected so we're running our dialog box and setting wherever the response is equal to this variable if that variable equals ok so if they click ok we're going to print the message which is the file name that you chose and then the word selected and then we're going to say l if so if that doesn't happen then if response oops response equals gtk dot response cancel colon so if you click cancel we're going to print a different message. We're going to get print closed. You didn't choose any files. And then just to clean things up, we're going to take our dialog box and destroy it. You don't have to do this, but it's, it's a good thing to do. <laughs> Let's spell destroy right. Now, if I didn't have any typos, we should be able to change mod this file, plus x and the name of our file, and then we can dot slash to run it. Cross your fingers, 
We got an error. Oh, because, okay. I used a uh, single quote in here. That's bad. So I can either use double quotes on this line, which is what I'm going to do, or I can uh, use backslash, I believe, to signify that's a special character. Now let's run it. But uh We got our dialog box here, and you can see the files, all the tutorials I've been working on. I've done a lot in the last day, and uh, you, hopefully you've watched them all up to this point. We can go in here. I'm going to choose a picture. Oh, I typed something wrong in the response. Response is not defined, so I must have spelt it wrong at some point. So, ah, I forgot the S there. Response. Now let's run it again. We'll choose an image here, and you can see it printed the full name of the file, the full path for it, and wrote the word selected, because that's what we told it to do. If we run it again, I can choose a different file type. I can choose this log file, and it prints the full name of that log file, and it says selected, because that's what we told it to say. And if we run it again and hit cancel, closed, you didn't choose any files. And that's it. So in our next video we're going to take this and filter out all files except for image files that we want and then load that image into our GTK uh, application that we've been working on. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day and please visit filmsbychris.com the links in the description along with some other good links. Have a great day.